So let's uh, sell them and figure it out what you pay for so that way we all learned uh, what's good copper, what's not. So guys, not too long ago I bought $500 worth of copper. I got a lot of negative feedback. So we want to talk about, I'm going to bring some copper to a coin store to see what it's actually worth. I'm here with Dylan at Silver Mountain Coin and Jewelry in Asheville by Patton Avenue. So I have right here minted, nine mint, really nice brand, even better brand Geiger. I don't know how to pronounce it. I usually call it ginger or something like that. <laughs> and then I, I bought 10 pounds of uh, copper that is unbranded and a couple of small stuff. And I want you to learn and myself what's the difference between those. Yeah, so like a lot of things, branding is everything. You compare like just generic clothing that has no brands on it compared to like Gucci or mm -hmm. Louis Vuitton or something. Branding is everything. It can be the same exact material. It's just the, the brand that changes it. So that's kind of the case with this stuff here. You have copper bars that aren't exact weights. They look to be like hand poured or something like that. But they're beautiful though. <laughs> they, honestly, yeah, I think they look better than some of these mm -hmm. do. But the fact is, you know, they're not marked with what they weigh. They're not branded. There's no purity fineness that's stamped on it. So when you consider all those things, it makes it a little bit difficult more difficult to sell it mm -hmm. and a little bit more difficult to explain to somebody who knows it's just like i can make a bunch of copper bars and sell them as expensive yeah as i that. mean you, that, that technically not that these are but that technically could be filled with some other metal inside yeah i was gonna else. say that yeah yeah compared to these because it's a name brand they have you know a brand to go against where if, if the quality wasn't correct you can be like, hey, you know, I got this bar and it's not 100% copper like you said it is. This you just can't really prove anything on. Yeah, so let's uh, sell them and figure it out what you pay for. So that way we all learned uh, what's good copper, what's not. Yeah, so on these here, this is going to be more of just an industrial form of copper. So that's going to be based upon it's just copper value per pound. So is it like $4 per pound right now? Uh, yeah, it's a little above that. I think it's, yeah, right now it's around $4.33 a pound. And that's a 10 pounds, right? Yep, so you'd be looking. A 10 pounds each? Yeah. Okay. So there you would be, you know, because it's still in some sort of nice form, we'd, we'd average it up a little bit above the scrap okay. value. But if you were at, Five and you'd be looking about fifty dollars a piece. There. Fifty dollars for well, that's still awesome. That's yeah. kind of cool. Definitely don't overpay on eBay, but you're probably gonna sell it for what, like ten bucks more. Or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Typically on copper, we don't mark mm. it up much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we average about ten percent on top of that, so okay. we might make yeah five or ten dollars. Yeah, for on, total on for yeah. both of them. Yep. Uh, then I guess we can go here. You got the nine fine mint. Now that's I, a nice burn mint. Look, they have even stickers. So uh, people overpay for that burn for silver and gold, right? The overspotting. Um, premium. Premium. Yeah, yeah, that has some premium, right? Oh yeah, it would, especially compared to something like this, yeah. because it's you know really laid out nicely. It's uniform and it has the information on it. As you can see, it's 999 fine copper. It's 100 ounces and the brand on it. Mm -hmm. Along with, on the back, you got the little certificate sticker there and the information on it. SKU code and everything. So yeah, how much would you buy for 100 ounces? How many pounds is that? Well, if you do 100 ounces, you times it by 31.1, that's 31.10 grams. And then you gotta figure that by regular ounces. So that's that. By 16. Man, that's a lot more. Six pounds. Yeah, yeah almost seven pounds. So seven 6. pounds. 6.85. Now, if you were just figuring that on copper value, which we're not, you'd be looking at about $30. So how much will you actually pay for the branded? For, because it's a brand, we actually pay $100. Wow, you see? Life. You guys, well, I got so much negative feedback, so now you know. You're not going to bring a bunch of pipes and sell it for $100. You still have to melt it, which costs a lot of money to melt bars in and pour them into it. What yeah. about Geiger like that? So Geiger then is going to even be another level higher than, than this one here. Um, that's a German uh, mint that does copper, gold, silver, mm -hmm. and other things. So those would be... I'm gonna this just, is only 10 ounces. Yeah, that's so that it. one's less than a pound. Yeah. Um, let's just figure this if it was... 
So if it was copper value, you'd be about two dollars and seventy cents <laughs> right there. How much will you buy it for? Um, that bar we would pay twenty-five dollars. You see, guys, it's all about mint. It's even more money than this one because it's like this nice. You see, like proof stamp on it. It's beautiful. German mint. It's rare. Exactly. And what about coins and things like that? One ounce stuff. This stuff, um, it's you know, it's kind of difficult. A lot of it's just more novelty stuff like a lot of the copper is really mm -hmm. but we actually sell them down there uh, much better quality yeah they're they're not handled and stuff like that mm -hmm. we sell them three dollars a piece or two for five dollars okay. a lot of times when we buy this stuff we buy it in bulk for about a dollar a piece which Makes sense. still is you know way more than the copper value but it's just not really much because it's not an actual coin it's just minted by a, a company that makes copper rounds and things mm -hmm. like that okay thank you now we know what's uh, copper worth yep exactly